Greetings to all. I will now show how to create a table with a foreign key in Apex. Before going there, I would like to show you the different tabs. When you are in Apex, you can see the gallery, the team development, the SQL workshop that we have used to create the our schema, our tables. But uh, whenever you want to go back to your database, simply click on the Apex Oracle Apex Home. Now inside Oracle Apex Home, you can either create your app using App Builder or create your database using SQL Workshop. So in this case, we want to create a table with a foreign key for our database. So I'll go inside SQL Workshop. Now, remember we have different schema, like different databases. The very old database that was granted to me by Oracle Apex when I requested a workshop. And this is the database that we are working in now, which is the schema student marks DB. So I'm going to select it as set it as a database that we are working on. So we are in that database. We now go to object browser to see what are the tables, the sequences, the views, and so on that are already in that database. We have two tables, one table called courses, that are created in one of the videos and another table called persons that are created after. Remember also we are taking those tables from this schema that we are trying to build. So these two tables are already created and currently we want to create a third table called admins that will contain the details of the admin users. Those will then include the ID number of each admin, the landline number of each admin, as well as the email address of the admin. Now, when you look at username, you'll see that username is common to persons, which means username is actually a foreign attribute that was taken from person. It is a foreign key attribute. Why are we saying it is a key? It is a candidate key because each person can only have one username and the two people cannot have the same username. So it can be a key. Two people cannot also have the same admin username. The username that you have as a person is the same username that you have as an admin. So this username will now be a link, a foreign key to link these two tables. So let's go and create the table admins and specify this foreign key. We need to go back to Apex. I'm just copying the name of the table, control C. I'm going back to Apex. Once in Apex, I will create the table called table. And they will ask me for the table name. I will say control V, it is admins. From there, I will say it was AID. That was the name of the key. It is a number and we say not null. And uh, also we want it to be by default the identity. What else do we need from this table? We want the landline of the admin staff because they are sometimes in the office. So we need their landline control V. What did we say the landline? It would be a string is a phone number 
we also don't want it to be not a phone number to just put 20 characters after the landline what is the next attribute the next attribute that we wanted from the admin is the email address and then we can now go and specify the email address as one of the attribute is also a varchar two. The email address is not that long. Let's give him 30. We never know. We don't want it to be empty. After the email address, I think the last attribute is now the one that we want to use as the foreign key link it to person and we are going to say the username what is the type of the username control v the username it is also a virtue i don't remember exactly what was the length if it was 50 and so on let us put 50 for now and we do not want it to be null from here we can click on next now, what is the primary key? We already said, like in all, all the tables, we are going to populate our primary key from an existing sequence that the admin primary key and AID is the primary key. And we are going to use the sequence that we created earlier on as our primary key. Next, they want to know about our foreign keys and this is precisely why we are creating this table the name of our foreign key the one that we want as our foreign key is username and we can then push it on that side and on cascade delete which means if the initial foreign the key is deleted from the initial table then it will also be deleted in this table now we can add it as our foreign key maybe there are so no there are no definitions let's add as our foreign key and see he say and it, yes the foreign key table yes we did not say where is the foreign key table yes it has to come from that foreign key is coming from which table? It's coming from the table. It was the persons. And inside the person, we want to see it is the username that we are linking. Both usernames. The username from the table admin is linked with the username from the table the current table that we are which is the table admin versus the other table which is person i think now we can carry on and add very very good the foreign keys has been added do we want to add another foreign key no we only had one foreign key we can now carry on the foreign key has been added and we can go to the next, which is, do we want any constraints? It was only the username that we wanted to be unique. Yes, I think we can say the username is unique. And from there, I don't know, two people can have use the same email address. So we may, but if you want, you can also say that the email address is unique. So let us make the username unique and add it as our unicity constraint. Now that we finish with the constraint on the username, we can go to the next screen and try to confirm the creation of our table. Will our table be created? Yes, our table has been created. It is the table admins, and you'll see that it has a foreign key for user name. I think we can have a break there, and we will carry on next.